Welcome to the Bladed Tech Channel's 54th edition and second year of the Space and Tech Rewind. We are reviewing the milestones that occurred on each day in the week of June 21st through June 27th in space exploration, science, and technology. June 21st, 2005. The first solar sail spacecraft intended to orbit in a test control flight was launched on this date. It was lifted towards orbit on a Volna rocket fired from a Russian submarine, the Borisoglevsk, submerged in the Barents Sea. The 250-pound Cosmos-1 spacecraft was intended to orbit on a 560-mile quasi-polar orbit. The craft was fitted with an eight-petaled solar sail consisting of 2,000 square feet of a thin aluminum alloy coated film, which were designed to be rotated to change their pitch. Onboard instrumentation would measure the pressure exerted by the solar wind. Solar propulsion was expected to lift the Cosmos 1 to orbit about 30 miles higher than the original. Unfortunately, the Volna failed during its flight and the spacecraft was lost. The nonprofit U.S. Planetary Society had financed the $4 million project while the craft was built in Russia by the Lavochkin Association and the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy. The USPS tried again with the Light Sail 2, launched on the SpaceX Falcon Heavy on June 25, 2019. That mission was deemed a success, and the operational satellite is expected to remain in orbit until sometime in late 2021. June 22, 1976. Salyut 5, the last of the three top-secret Almaz military space stations launched by the Soviet Union between 1973 and 1976, was launched on this date. The Salyut 5 was in operation during the Skylab period and about a year after the final Apollo mission. It was the second successful flight of an Almaz, as Salyut 2, the first station, failed shortly after reaching orbit. The mission of the Salyut 5 was primarily that of manned Earth surveillance. Salyut 5 operated for 409 days, during which the crews of the Soyuz 22 and 24 visited the station. The surveillance film capsule was ejected February 22, 1977, and the station was deorbited on August 8, 1977. The Salyut 5 flight confirmed the conclusions of the Salyut 3 flight in that manned reconnaissance, instead of unmanned satellites, was not worth the expense. There was minimal time to operate the equipment after the crew took the necessary time for maintenance of station housekeeping and environmental control systems. June 23, 1928. Max Valier's third rocket-propelled car is tested in Cell, Germany during the Weimar era on a state. After the car was mounted on railroad tracks, the first run, with 10 rockets, reached 290 km per hour. A second run, with 24 rockets, jumped the tracks and demolished the vehicle. A year later, and after the stock market crash, General Motors, who owned the Opel car company that was funding Valier's experiments, felt that there was no future in the rocket cars and discontinued the program. Fritz von Opel, the grandson of the founder of Opel, resigned in protest and emigrated to Switzerland. He lived quietly in obscurity for the remainder of his life. His son, Ricky von Opel, was a Formula One driver from 1973 to 1974 and winner of the British Formula Three Championship in 1972. June 24, 1974. Salyut 3, the second of three top secret Almaz military space stations launched by the Soviet Union between 1973 and 1976, and the first to successfully operate in orbit, is launched on this date. The Salyut 3 was notable in that it was armed with an onboard 23 or 30 millimeter Noodleman aircraft cannon. The cannon was test fired by crewmen from the Soyuz 14 mission that same year. The space station was only visited one more time by the Soyuz 15, but the crew was unable to dock. On September 23, 1974, the station ejected its reconnaissance film return capsule and was deorbited the following day. After the Salyut 3 and Salyut 5 missions, the Soviet Union launched and operated the Salyut 6 and Salyut 7 space stations between 1977 and 1991. After the fall of the Soviet Union, 
the Russian Federation jointly began placing into orbit the International Space Station with the United States in 1998. June 25, 1951. The first commercial color TV program was transmitted by CBS from New York to Baltimore, Philadelphia, Boston, and Washington, D.C. on this date. The program being broadcasted was a variety show named Premiere. The technology used by CBS for the broadcast was proprietary to the network and represented a real competitive coup. However, the Korean War began in the same month as the broadcast and the U.S. government suspended color television set production as part of the war effort. After the war ended in armistice, CBS withdrew its field sequential color TV system from the market, and RCA's composite dot sequential technology became the U.S. standard. We reviewed the history of cathode ray tube television in Episode 5. June 26, 1886 after many unsuccessful attempts, Henri Moisson isolated the element fluorine, element 9, for the first time on this date. His work had been interrupted four times by serious poisoning. When Moisson tested the fluorine he produced with silicon, it immediately burst into flame, which he regarded as a positive test for the highly reactive gas. Two days later, his discovery was announced at the Academy of Science in Paris. Moisson had finally succeeded by using two platinum iridium electrodes sealed into a platinum U-tube containing an electrolyte solution of dry potassium acid fluoride and anhydrous hydrofluoric acid chilled with methylene chloride to a temperature of minus 23 degrees. The ends were closed with fluor spark screw caps covered with a layer of gum lac. Electrolysis produced the gas at the anode. The element fluorine had been known as early as 1529 as a smelting additive and was used after 1720 to etch glass. But it was Moisson's success in isolating the element that unlocked its true industrial potential. June 27, 1972. The iconic video game company, Atari, was founded by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney on this date. Their first video game, Pong, was the first commercially successful video game and led to the start of the video game industry. We covered Atari's popular arcade game, Asteroids, in Milestones 93. In 1977, Atari's video computer system, known as the VCS and later the Atari 2600, popularized the home video game market. Before the video game crash of 1983, Atari was the fastest growing company in the history of the United States at that time, and the brand was synonymous with video games. As of 2021, the year 2000's PlayStation 2 is the most sold game console of all time. The 2600, despite being released 44 years ago, is still 18th. June 28, 1987 did you agree with our choices, or are there other events that were better? Go ahead and share with us by dropping a comment below. And if you have suggestions for an event in the future, we'll take those too. We'll credit events we pick for future videos to those viewers that post them. We hope you have been enjoying our content. Have we earned your subscription to our channel? If yes, and you have not yet taken the opportunity as of yet to subscribe, please take a moment to do so now and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. We want to continue delivering great content to you. You can always unsubscribe, and subscribing is free. On June 12, 2021, Blue Origin announced a mystery bidder had paid $28 million for a seat on Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' first crewed suborbital space flight, scheduled for July 20th. The bidding process attracted interest from more than 140 countries. The other two crew members on that flight are expected to be Bezos' brother Mark and an unnamed space tourist. The Blue Origin crew capsule is fully automated and does not require a space-qualified pilot. Blue Origin, although it has bid for NASA's Artemis moon lander, is primarily focused on the suborbital space tourism business, a niche it shares with Virgin Galactic. 
Virgin is expected to begin Taurus flights in the second half of 2021, after the company's founder, Sir Richard Branson, participates in a dress rehearsal flight this summer. Blue Origin rival SpaceX has chosen to eschew suborbital tourism and is instead selling seats on its orbital and lunar flights on the Dragon 2 and Starship craft. SpaceX's first Taurus flight is expected later this year on the Inspiration4 mission, which we discussed in detail in Short 48. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 250 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort videos by subject. We announce all new videos on our microblogging accounts, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech and Innovation Documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science, and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones, and gameplay recordings can be discovered in the Bladed Tech Gaming Channel in videos called Walkthroughs and Side Missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed and Minds page, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed, and where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.